What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we are using Blaziken, Alolan Sandslash, and Credilly. This team, and I would say Blaziken, is so deadly in this meta. You guys may not think that because of all the water Pokemon that we see, but I'm telling you, this Pokemon puts in work on this meta, and even against Shadow Swampert, it can win in the two shields just flat out because of the raw damage from counter. Now, we are using Legacy Stone Edge, as it does do a lot of super effective damage against the meta, which you guys will see today. It's a very fun video with a lot of booms. All right, getting into the first battle, we have Blaziken on the lead versus Toxapex. This is not a good matchup. We're going to go ahead and swap out into that Credilly, get ahead on energy, and in comes a Shadow Abomasnow. This is actually pretty good for us. Because like I've said before in, in the previous video and in the meta guide, Credilly on safe swap can get yourself shield advantage. Now, we're going to go ahead and go for a Grass Knot here. I'm going to risk it and see if I can get to, we get a shield anyways, they're going to respect the Stone Edge, but I can't get to a Stone Edge in time right there, which is unfortunate, but we still got a shield. So in hindsight, you know, maybe if they come in that quick, maybe look to go for the Stone Edge. Um, first now we're gonna go ahead and bring back in the blaziken and shadow bomb snow even though we resist the energy ball and weather ball we're gonna let it go and we're gonna risk and thankfully it was a weather ball which means i'm now gonna have to shield this next one blaziken is very glassy that energy ball on the other hand might have near one shot us which would have been bad well, that's okay. We're going to see the Toxapex come in. So we're just going to go ahead and go for the Stone Edge, get as much chip damage down as we can. And now we're going to swap into the Sand Slash. And Sand Slash is also very, very good in this meta. Having a Shadow Credilly come into this matchup is so ideal for us because we are just going to do so much damage with Ice Punch while only taking neutral from that Stone Edge. So I'm going to go ahead and load up on Energy poorly timed charge move right there but that's okay we're gonna go ahead and go for the ice punch and look at how much damage that was now we're gonna go ahead and go for another one right away to force that shield and then we should be able to farm down because stone edge does not one shot us so thankfully um, we can survive this. I've, I've seen it before. Stone Edge is going to hurt. It does a lot of damage, but we can survive. And now we're going to go ahead and commit to the farm down. That way we can get to a Bulldoze here against the Toxapex. Now, remember, we already landed the Stone Edge, which was a lot of neutral damage for us. Super effective damage now with Bulldoze and the Shadow Claw and Ice Punch damage as well is going to make this a good game. Alolan Sandslash is, is so deadly. I think Blaziken and Alolan Sand, Sandslash in their own rights could be on a lot of different teams. So use this video to start thinking about, okay, maybe what team should I build around Alolan Sandslash because it is so good. All right, we got Pelipper here on the lead. Another reason why we have the Stone Edge. Now, they decide to bring in a Wall Rain right here. I'm not sure what their third Pokemon is going to be, but if it's weaker to Credilly than Walrein, we are in a very good situation because now I should be able to get to two Grass Knots, and if we get two shields, if we don't get two shields, right, we take, we basically take Switch right here, so let's see if we can do it. I'm going to go ahead and go for Grass Knot. Granted, I, I actually don't think this is enough to KO. I don't think it is, so we do get a second shield. That is a critical mistake by my opponent, but a beautiful opportunity. You know what's coming. We have Blaziken with Stone Edge. This is why I love running it. Granted, I have multiple Blazikens. I have a Blaziken with Blast Burn and Blaze Kick, with um, Brave Bird and Blaze Kick, and Stone Edge and Blaze Kick, based on what I'm feeling for the day. Now, I give up two shields here to make sure I stop that Earthquake. Fully farmed down. In comes the Pelipper. We're going straight for the Stone Edge. This is 100 to 0 health. Boom! One shots the Pelipper. And the final Pokemon is actually a Shadow Sharpedo. Very spicy, but goes down instantly to Blaziken. Good game. All right, moving into the next one. Blaziken on the lead versus Alolan Sandslash. Very, 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 very positive for us. We see them swap out into Frostlass. So we're going to go ahead and bring in our own Sandslash now. Now, technically... I need to be very careful about Shadow Ball, but what we want to do is make sure we take Switch Advantage right here. If we're thinking about the counter damage from a Blaziken versus the Ice Steel typing of Alolan Sandslash, we want to make sure we keep that Switch Advantage. We want to make sure they're still aligned to each other. Now, they decide to give up a shield right there, which is fine. This is now going to allow me to double shield here, and granted, my opponent has the same swag on as I do, which is really odd to, to see like a mirror on the other side. We have a different hat, 
but we basically look exactly the same. So it's really odd to see that same face mask, same shirt, same pants, I think different shoes. But I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but we're rocking the same stuff. Now, they decided to come back in with Sand Slash, so I'm going to go ahead and go for a Ice Punch here. We did land the Bulldoze, which is very nice, and I'm actually going to swap back out into Blaziken. My worry is that they have something in the back um, that is weak to uh, Sand Slash, but it's actually going to be a Whiz Cash, which is fine. Both Stone Edge and Blaze Kick are resisted, so we're just going to go ahead and go for a Stone Edge. We get a Shield anyways. we got to make them fear the Brave Bird right here, but they're going to go ahead and load up on Energy, and this is, this is looking to be a good game right we have credilly which can survive a uh, blizzard and do super effective damage with bullet seed and grass knot god it's so weird looking in the mirror like seeing it's like i'm fighting myself i'm not this is go battle you guys can see my who my opponent was um at the beginning of this battle but we can survive a blizzard. This is what's so cool about Credilly is its bulk right there. It does take super effective damage from ice moves, but it's able to survive. And now we're going to have that sand slash coming back in. So we got to go into our own right away because they're going to go ahead and go for the bulldoze. And this is what's very important. We can survive bulldoze right here, but we have shadow claw and they have powder snow, which means we win that fast. Granted, it would have been a simultaneous KO right there, but good game. All right, we got Blaziken now versus Bastidon. Oh, yes. This is what we're talking about here on a lead. You'll love to see it. And they're deciding to stay in. This tells me whenever an opponent does this, right, they stay in in a clearly losing situation. It tells me they're weak in the back to Blaziken on a, at least one other Pokemon. So we're going to go ahead and shoot. My guess is probably going to be Credilly, right? If you think about Bastiodon, weak to the Mud Boys, Credilly makes a good counter. Now we do see a Lantern come in, so we're going to go ahead and go for the Stone Edge right here, and then we will swap out into the Credilly, and this is looking very, very good for us, and granted it was a Credilly in the back, which is totally fine. Now we're just going to go ahead and go for Grass Knots here, um, as it does, basically, they do near the amount of same damage per energy. Technically, Stone Edge is a bit better in terms of damage per energy, but we're talking like minimal numbers. And the fact that they have two shields, we just gotta go for Grass Knots because it's lower energy. So we're just gonna go ahead, and I think I go for a Stone Edge here. My guess is they're gonna no shield this next one and sneaking in a Stone Edge for just a little bit extra damage is always worth it, which is perfect because now I can get to the Grass Knot and win CMP tie. Why? Because my Credilly IVs are terrible. I probably have a lot higher base IV attack than my opponent, which allows me to win that one. And now we see a Lantern come in, which is fine. We have Alolan Sand Slash with Shadow Claw um, and Bulldoze and Ice Punch. So this is looking to be a good game. We don't need to build up to Bulldoze in order to win this one. The Resisted Ice Punch plus, plus Shadow Claws is going to be enough. So we do get the final shield, which is fine. We're going to go ahead and no shield this first charge move because I could technically win with Blaziken and Counter, but I didn't want to shield a Surf because the Thunderbolt is what I'm looking out for. It does a bit more damage. And now we can go for the Ice Punch here and take this one. So that's going to be a good battle. Very well played. Actually, it was CMP tie. They barely survived, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and shield. And then, yeah, we'll fast move down. So good game right there. All right. Moving into the next one. We have... Blaziken on the lead versus Shadow Abomasnow, another very positive lead for us. We see them swap out right away into Araquanid. So what I'm going to look to do here, they actually have... I shouldn't have stayed in as long. I didn't notice they had Infestation until right there at the end because that allows them to get the Bubble Beam off. But I'm still going to go and go ahead and go for this Stone Edge. It does do super effective damage and I don't need as much health or energy to face off against a Bomb of Snow. So we land it, which is perfect. This now allows me to come in with a Lolan Sand Slash and farm down with Shadow Claw. And this is another reason why you need the Shadow Claw fast move. It is a community day move. But you need it. It's it's worth it. Shadow Claw, Alolan Sand Slash is worth it. So we're going to go ahead and just let these go through. It is going to be another Bubble Beam, which is fine. But now we kept Shields. We kept Blaziken somewhat healthy. And we kept Switch Advantage, which is always very, very important. So we are going to see a Bomb of Snow come in right now. And we're just going to go ahead and just go for these Ice Punches. Granted, because of the Bubble Beam debuffs, they're not doing as much damage. But this is, we got so much energy. This is going to really start adding up. So this is looking... Very, very good. My switch clock is coming back up, so I'm going to go ahead and go for another one, and I'm actually going to swap out into Blaziken right here to try to do a cheeky jab if we can. Yep, we get a shield. I'm going to go ahead and come in. One, two, and they swap out now into Lantern, which is just going to be a good game. 
Granted, I can't get to Stone Edge right there, which is fine, but we have Credilly for Lantern, and we have Sand Slash for uh, Obama Snow, and that is going to be a good one right here. So they're going to fight the good fight. They're going to keep putting in Surf, so I don't need to shield anything just yet. I'm more concerned about the extra energy on Shadow Obama Snow and what it could potentially do. So we're going to make sure we load up and then go for a Grass Knot right here, because if Shadow Obama Snow comes back in, I don't want them to fully farm me down, and then we're in a dicey situation where... Um, a charge move takes us out. So they are now forced to throw energy. I can let this go. This is fine. Shadow Claw and uh, Alolan Sand Slash will take this one for me. And that is going to be a good game. Very well played. We'll throw up the shield here. No reason to try to flex and no shield and energy ball. That would be bad. So we're going to go ahead and shield and that's going to be a good one. All right. Blaziken on the lead versus Lantern again. So it's a tough one. We're going to swap out into the Credilly right here. Granted, I think in hindsight, like looking back at this, I think Alolan Sand Slash makes a lot more sense as a safe swap right here. I always fear safe swapping Pokemon like Alolan Sand Slash or Bastiodon because if they face off against their hardest counter in this meta, um, they can get destroyed without a lot of upside for us by getting energy or shield. So in this case, we have Credilly, or, um, Araquanid. So Credilly can force shields here with Stone Edge. But just looking in hindsight, if there's a Lantern lead, maybe try, if you're going to try this team and you see a Lantern lead, maybe try the Alolan Sand Slash safe swap. That way you keep Credilly for the Lantern in the back. And Sand Slash is likely going to do well against that back line because they need anti-grass. So it could be a fire Pokemon, um, but you never know. It could be a Blaziken back there. It could be, which would be tough, but thankfully we can go ahead and no shield all these charge moves. I'm just going to go ahead and load up on energy because the energy advantage is what we really need right here. Now, this is taking a while. They had a decent amount of health remaining, so I'm actually going to cap myself out on energy as the bug buzz does land. And we're just going to try our best to farm down. We do fully farm down. Perfect. Okay. Let's see what decides to come in. They actually swap in Credilly, so I'm going to come in with Blaziken. And I'm going to try to get to a Stone Edge right here. I'm going to have to shield Surf basically near one-shots. And I want them to be forced to throw a charge move against Blaziken in order to win this matchup instead of throwing the first one and then farming me down. Because that would be bad. So we're going to go and throw the Stone Edge. We get a shield, which is perfect. And now they're going to throw another Surf, which now, if they max it out, will max out to Excellent. It will KO us. Boom! Down goes the Blaziken. We come in with a Lolan Sand Slash right away and throw the Bulldoze. This is going to allow us now to be able to farm down with Shadow Claw. And now we nearly have two Ice Punches and there's a Credilly in the back. So we're going to go ahead and throw one. And this ugh, is going to be so close. Ice Punch does do super effective damage. But is it going to be enough? We throw another one. And now it's going to be up to Shadow Claw damage. I can't make it to three Ice Punches in time. So it's got to come down to Shadow Claw damage. And no, we cannot. That is super unfortunate right there. But live one HP in a dream that they survived by. So good game. All right, moving into the next one. We got Blaziken on the lead versus Credilly. Very positive again for us. Let's see what they decide to do. They swap into Shadow Swamper, or Normal Swamper, I should say. And we come in with our own Credilly right here. Now... What's deadly about Swampert is these Hydro Cannons. They actually hurt because we're taking neutral. So we're going to go ahead and just go for the Grass Knot right away. I want to get shields out of them as quickly as possible. We do get one. And granted, think about it. Our backline as well, uh, the uh, Alolan Sand Slash, does pretty well against Credilly. So I actually don't need to win Switch Advantage right here. What I want to get is Energy Advantage, which is you might think is counterintuitive. We didn't keep Blaziken against Credilly. That's fine. We're going to come back in with Blaziken right here and fully farm down. I have to give up a shield, so we'll be even on shields. But... We have energy advantage, which means whatever they have in the back is going to get hit with with something. And I got 20% battery. We're living on the edge. It's a Talon Flame, everyone. Ooh-wee! I'm glad I decided to take this route. We're going to go ahead and go for the Stone Edge, and they shield. Uh-oh. So now this is going to be very close. They decide to swap into Credilly. I bank a Stone Edge, and now swap into a Lolan Sand Slash. And this is why I was okay with losing Switch, because a Lolan Sand Slash 
and Blaziken do well against Credilly. So what we're going to do here is we're going to save our shields because the only way I lose is if I give up my shield with Alolan Sandslash and this Credilly is going to be forced to throw. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just take out the Credilly. Talonflame is going to come in, but I remember, remember I banked a Stone Edge. So all I'm going to do is CMP tie the Talonflame and it's a good game. So we just click the Stone Edge. We win CMP tie anyways because I'm the true bird out here with the spice that is nice. Boom! One shots the Talonflame. Oh, you love to see it. Good game. Blaziken on the lead versus Blaziken. A man of culture, I see on the other side. So this is going to be very interesting. We're both countering each other. We're both playing chicken. Literally, because neither of us are throwing a charge move. They swap out into Lantern. I come in with Credilly. And now things are going to get a little bit crazy. Because their Blaziken will be able to come back in and farm me down for energy. And my Blaziken does not have two Blaze Kicks ready to go. So, it's going to be a bit dicey. Because if their Blaziken can touch my Alolan Sand Slash, it's all over. So, what we're going to do here is load up with double grass knots, and I actually overloaded right there. I should have just stopped, not done the extra um, charge move, but we have to throw the first one. They shield. I'm, I over tap again. I need to just be throwing these things. I need to get this lantern out of there. It forces me now to shield. So, this is going to be extremely dicey. Loading back up, going for another grass knot right here, and their Blaziken now can come in and farm down. So what I have to do is I have to use my own Blaziken to take it out in the mirror. There is no way I can come in with a Lolan Sand Slash right here. So I CMP tie, or what I think I CMP tie with a Blaze Kick. I shield as well. They use Blast Burn instead. This is a huge opportunity for me because Blaze Kick is a little bit less energy. And we get a shield anyways, which means I'm going to be able to get to the next one in time. And now it is going to be up to a Lolan Sand Slash. And I'm just like, please let me win the back line. It's a bomb of snow. We win. All right, sweet. It's Razor Leaf Shadow Obama Snow as well, which means two Ice Punches here is going to be enough damage to take them out. There's one, and then we should be able to get to a second one before Energy Ball, but they decide to throw the Weather Ball right here. My heart sunk a little bit. I'm like, there's no way. And no, it was it was just a Weather Ball. That's fine. We resist it. We go for the Ice Punch, and that is going to be a good game. Very well played, but it was awesome to see the Blaziken on the lead, seeing someone else use it as well was very, very cool. So that, I believe that was the final battle. Yep, that was the final battle. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. What I would say or have a takeaway from this, Credilly is still an amazing safe swap. Blaziken has what it takes to do well against this meta and Alolan Sand Slash as well is very good. Whether you want to use this full team or mix and match some of your own, try both Blaziken and Alolan Sand Slash. They're both amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and like always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.